In a previous video, I put some 14K and 10K carat gold directly in aqua regia. I did this experiment to demonstrate that this is not the proper way to dissolve carat gold. Putting carat gold directly in aqua regia creates many problems and makes refining the gold difficult. In coating the gold with silver, then removing the base metals and silver with nitric acid before adding the aqua regia eliminates all of these problems. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to get the gold out of those dirty solutions. If you notice here, one solution is black and the other one looks green. This is why we don't try to dissolve the gold directly in aqua regia. It's best to add silver to that gold and cord it, and then treat it with dilute nitric acid to remove all those base metals and silver before we put it in the aqua regia. Both of those solutions look dirty, and it's going to be very difficult to try to get the pure gold out of both of those solutions. No fancy introductions here. This is going to be a quick video. And what I've got back here is my 14K that I tried to dissolve straight away in Aqua Regia. Here's my 10K that I tried to dissolve straight away in Aqua Regia. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the metals out of these solutions. And uh, there's going to be some gold in these solutions. Then I'm going to put it into the... Uh, on the melt table over there. I'm gonna melt this up into a button. Most of this solution has been through the filter now. This is the 10K gold. I'm gonna add that right to the filter, same thing. And I'm gonna gather the filter up with the gold pieces in it and uh, put it in a melt dish and melt it into a button. And then we'll uncord it with silver and refine it properly. That way. Here's the carrot gold that we tried to dissolve in aqua regia. Looks terrible. A bunch of salts in there. A bunch of mud. Here down in the bottom of the funnel you see some blue fluid. I tried to rinse it out with some tap water. And that blue fluid formed. Not sure what that is. And last but not least, in the land of the unusual, it looks like some of the carrot gold or some of the pure gold is already precipitated out in this solution all by itself. I didn't add any chemicals or any precipitants there. So this is, I can't overemphasize the importance of importing the carrot gold first with silver and then getting the base metals and the rest of the silver that's in that carrot gold removed with hot dilute nitric treatments first before we try to dissolve the gold in aqua regia. This is the kind of mess that results if we try to go straight to aqua regia with that carrot gold. Here we go, we're going to take the funnel out here and I'm going to pour the gold bearing solution into this beaker. Notice there's some uh, gold precipitated out on the bottom there. I'm not sure where that came from. Take the uh, pure gold out of this solution here. With some sodium metabisulfite. I'm going to do a quick status test. Make sure we got all the gold out of solution here. As you can see, no reaction. 
all the gold has been precipitated. I'm going to transfer the metal out of this funnel into this melt dish now. And we'll put a new filter paper in here. And then I'll filter the gold out of here. Set this back out of the way. Into this filter paper. I've got everything in the filter now. There's some gray material there. I don't know what that is. It's gray. There's some brown in with it. But, uh, night. Anything that I'm used to seeing when I refine gold. Another reason why it's so important to encourt the gold with silver before we try to put it in aqua region. Here's our material. Looks gray, does not look brown. Doesn't look uh, very much like gold. I'm gonna get it in this melt dish with the other material. Take it, put it over here in the melt dish, and melt this up to a button. Scratch a little bit of it on this touchstone here. And we're going to put some, uh, this is 14K test acid on it. And that looks like that's right around maybe 14, between 14 and 10K, I'd say, just by looking. Here's our gold button. It weighs 34.2. 34.2 times 0.635 equals, that's how much I need to add if it's 10K gold. I'm thinking it's going to be a little below that. So I'm going to add 20.1 grams of sterling silver to inquart the button. Here's our gold button, the silver that I'll use to inquart it. Throw both of these in the melt dish and go ahead and start the melt. I've got some used dilute nitric acid from a previous refining. I'm going to go ahead and some of this used nitric on this encoded gold. Cover it up, we'll put it up here on the heat, and we'll let this dissolve. I took several treatments here to get all the uh, base metals and silver dissolved out. And now what I'm gonna do See, the gold is a nice brown color. It remained uh, in solid chunks. I'm just going to pour this acid off now. Here's our uh, encorded gold. You can see all the base metals and the silver has been removed from it. It's nice and brown. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to add some hydrochloric acid and we'll dissolve this residual gold. nitric acid in there. And we'll put this up on the heat. Kind of 
concentrated sulfuric acid here, about a half milliliter. And that's to precipitate out any lead. I'm gonna add some concentrated nitric to the gold and hydrochloric acid to start forming aqua regia in that beaker. Dissolve the gold out now. Notice how clean the solution is after we've uh, taken all the base metals and the silver out of it with uh, those hot dilute nitric acid treatments. We've got just about all the gold in the solution now. Notice that the solution is nice and clear. It's got a nice orange color to it. Much better here uh, by encording the gold first and then removing all the silver and the base metals with those hot dilute nitric acid treatments. All the gold's dissolved. We're going to pull it down off the heat now, let it cool off. I've added some ice to the solution to cool it down. The solution's cooled down now. It's nice and clear. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pour it through a filter now. Alright, I've got the gold filtered now. What we'll do is we'll uh, transfer it into this beaker here and precipitate Loud it up. That's probably some silver chloride. And then what we'll do here is add some sodium metabisulfite and precipitate out pure gold. Should just about do it right there. Alright, the whole point of this video is to show how to recover from the mistake of trying to dissolve that carrot gold directly in aqua regia. I think we did that pretty good. I'll refine this a second time and then melt it up into some shot. But for now, that'll conclude the video. Thanks for watching.